Hello everybody, myself Prasant Mukhopadhyay, faculty member, Electrical Engineering Department, Gita Kolkata College of Engineering and Management. In our last class of uh, power electronics, we are discussing about uh, the applications of power electronics. And uh, uh, in the last class, we have uh, uh, discussed about uh, the power electronics applications in high voltage DC uh, transmission uh, system. And uh, uh, today, uh, actually, we will uh, discuss another uh, applications of uh, power electronics that is uh, static uh, circuit breaker. In uh, static circuit breaker, so that is one of the uh, another applications of uh, power electronics. Uh, thyristors actually used, and thyristor uh, being a bistable uh, device is widely used for switching of power signals, uh, owing to their long life, uh, high operation speed and freedom from other defects associated with mechanical and electromechanical switches. So that's a very uh, big advantage of uh, this uh, use, uh, using uh, thyristors as a uh, switching uh, device, so particularly since it is used widely uh, because of uh, it's a long life uh, uh, operation, high operation speed and uh, freedom from other uh, defects that is associated with uh, mechanical and electromechanical uh, switches. So, firstly, we'll uh, uh, discuss about uh, this AC circuit breaker using uh, ACR. It's uh, basically it is a static AC circuit breaker. So, this is the uh, figure of a static uh, AC circuit breaker, uh, where uh, uh, two ACRs are used, ACR one and ACR two, uh, for making and breaking an AC circuit. And uh, the input voltage is uh, alternating, and uh, the trigger pulses are applied uh, to the gates of the ACRs. Okay, and uh, through the control switches, basically, uh, this is the control switch through which uh, the trigger pulses are applied uh, uh, at the gate of the uh, thyristors. Okay, so oh, resistance R that is uh, pro provides uh, this resistance R is provided in the gate circuit uh, to limit the gate current. So basically, uh, this uh, R uh, limits uh, the uh, amount of the gate current uh, applied in uh, the gates of uh, ACR1 and ACR2. Okay. And uh, register R1 and R2, uh, this uh, register R1 and these R2 are uh, to protect uh, the diodes uh, D1 and D2. So, this uh, protect this diode D1 and D2 respectively. So, what we are finding here, uh, this register R in the uh, common for the uh, uh, gate circuits are uh, connected in series with uh, this uh, switch. So, control the uh, gate current uh, for uh, applied for uh, both uh, ACR1 and ACR2. And this uh, register 1 and register 2 are in series with uh, this uh, diode 1 and diode 2 uh, to protect uh, them. Okay. Now, uh, for starting uh, the circuit when the switch S is closed, ACR uh, one will be fired at the beginning of the positive half cycle. So when this uh, uh, switch is closed, HR1 will be uh, say uh, switched on at the beginning of the uh, say um, uh, positive half cycles. And the gate uh, trigger current is assumed to be uh, very small. And because during the positive half cycle, HR1 is far back and it will turn off uh, when the uh, current goes to the uh, zero value. Okay, so uh, this one actually so um, goes to the zero value uh, as soon as the SCR1 is turned off, SCR2 will uh, fire since the voltage part is already reversed and it gets the proper gate current and uh, the circuit can be uh, broken by opening uh, the switch S. So, opening of uh, 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 gate circuit uh, poses uh, no problem as current to the switch is small. And as no further get uh, signal will be applied to the SCRs uh, when switch S is open, the SCRs will not be triggered and the load current will be uh, zero. The maximum time delay for breaking the circuit is one half second. Okay, so that is actually uh, uh, the um, uh, static AC uh, circuit breaker, and thus the uh, several hundred uh, appears of load current can be switched on or off uh, simply by handling uh, get current uh, of a uh, few milliampere so by an ordinary uh, switch so this above circuit uh, is also uh, called a static uh, contactor uh, because it does not have any moving part so that's why it is called uh, static 
contactor or static circuit breakers okay so once again i will be repeating this uh, this is the um, uh, static ac circuit breakers but uh, um, through switch s uh, scr1 and scr2 are uh, say being used two scrs one for making and another for breaking the circuits and uh, uh, gate is being uh, supplied uh, uh, say the signal is being given to the uh, gate of scr1 and scr2 uh, by closing this uh, switches and uh, in switch uh, S uh, in series with this uh, switch uh, register R is there uh, which uh, limits uh, the gate current of the SCS and uh, uh, other two registers R1 and R2 are uh, connected with uh, say diodes D1 and D2 uh, for their protection okay so uh, at the beginning of the uh, uh, say when S is closed, S01 will be uh, at the beginning of the positive half cycles. Uh, so the gate uh, trigger current is assumed to be very small. So in that case, uh, because uh, during the positive half cycle of S01 is the power bus and it will uh, turn off uh, when the current goes to uh, the zero value. And as soon as S01 is turned off, uh, S02 will uh, fire. And since the voltage for it is already reversed and it gets uh, the proper gate current, uh, the circuit can be uh, broken uh, by opening the switches and opening of the uh, 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 say gate circuit poses uh, no problem as current through this switch is small and as no further gate signal will be applied uh, to the ACRs when switch S is open the ACRs will not be uh, triggered and the load current will be zero. So the maximum time delay uh, for breaking the circuit is one half cycle and the several hundred uh, amperes of load current can be uh, switched on or uh, simply by uh, handling a uh, gate current of a few milliampere by an ordinary uh, switch and uh, this above circuit is also uh, called a static contactor because it does not have any uh, moving part <coughs> now uh, we come to the uh, discussions of uh, the dc circuit because this is also a, a static dc uh, circuit breaker. this is the circuit okay uh, this is one of uh, another ACL applications that is uh, static DC uh, circuit breaker. So uh, this as shown in uh, this figure, so capacitor C uh, provides the required commutation uh, of the main ACL. So uh, actually since uh, the current does not have a uh, natural zero uh, value in a DC circuit when the ACL one is in conducting uh, state, uh, the load voltage will be equal to the supply voltage and uh, capacitor C will be charged uh, to register R okay so this will be charged actually this is the process okay so uh, uh, as soon as uh, the capacitor C provides the uh, 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 required uh, computations of the main AC uh, since the current does not have any natural zero uh, value in a uh, DC circuit when AC1 is in conducting state and the load voltage will be equal to the supply voltage and the capacitor C will be charged to register R. And the circuit is uh, uh, broken by turning off SCR1 and this is done by uh, firing SCR2 and this, is, uh, this will be uh, fired. So as a result uh, then, then uh, mm, this will be like this. Oh, this uh, current will flow in this way and this will occur uh, when this anode current or conduction current uh, it, this current will be opposing this conduction and when this will be more so the C1 will be off so because of the, this is this circuit you know natural zero phenomena will happen so uh, this by firing uh, SCR2 uh, called auxiliary SCRs of course uh, uh, capacitor C discharges to SCR2 and SCR1 and this discharge current is in the opposite directions uh, to that uh, flow through SCR1 and when the two uh, become uh, equal, SA2 um, will turn up and now capacitor C gets uh, charged uh, to the load and when the capacitor C gets fully charged, the SA2 turns up. So this is the circuit acts as a DC circuit breaker and uh, the register R is taken uh, of such a value that uh, current uh, through R is uh, lower than that of the holding current. Okay, so basically uh, this is about uh, this uh, circuit breaker. Uh, static circuit because uh, so uh, uh, once again I am telling you uh, this uh, DC circuit because uh, 
and this AC circuit breakers. As I told you, this AC circuit breakers, uh, this is static circuit breakers. Uh, since uh, the switch, uh, uh, there is no static uh, uh, rotating or moving part, and uh, ACR is a very uh, say uh, useful and effective device for um, uh, switching of power signals uh, due to their uh, long life, high operation. Uh, speed and freedom from other uh, defects associated with uh, mechanical and electromechanical switches and uh, this is a static AC circuit breaker circuit so at, uh, two ACs are being used one for the on and one for the other for the off mm -hmm. purpose of this uh, uh, say circuit and uh, oh, uh, this is uh, a switch is in series with R is uh, provide the uh, gate signals um, for uh, turn on this uh, thyristor 1 and uh, thyristor 2 whenever it is required and uh, this uh, resistor R1 and R2 are uh, there to protect this uh, diode D1 and D2 respectively and for the starting uh, when the switch AC is closed SL1 will be fired at the beginning of the positive half cycles and the gate uh, triggers current is assumed to be very small and because during this positive half cycle SL1 is the power bus, it will turn up when um, actually, um, the current goes uh, to the zero value, and as soon as uh, HL1 is turned up, HL2 will uh, fire uh, since the voltage property is already reversed and it uh, gets uh, the proper gate current. So, the circuit uh, can be broken by opening uh, the switches, and opening up uh, the uh, gate circuit poses uh, no problem as current through this switch is small and as no uh, no further gate signal will be applied to the ACRs uh, when switch AC is open uh, the ACRs will not be triggered and the load current will be zero the maximum time delay for breaking the circuit is one half cycle and the several hundred uh, amperes of load current can be switched on or off uh, simply by handling uh, gate current of a few milliampere by an ordinary switch and uh, the above circuit is also called a static contactor because it does not have any moving part and another uh, circuit is the DC circuit because it's a static DC circuit because uh, uh, switch actually is a DC circuit and uh, uh, here also uh, capacitor C provides uh, the required uh, commutations of the uh, main AC okay AC1 and since the current uh, does not have the natural zero value because it's a DC current when the AC1 is in the conduction state uh, the load uh, voltage will be equal to the supply voltage and the capacitor C will be charged to its uh, uh, through the register uh, to the full voltage actually supply voltage and the circuit is uh, broken actually uh, by turning off uh, this uh, ACR1 okay and uh, uh, this can be done uh, by uh, firing uh, ACR2 uh, that is which is known as the auxiliary ACRs okay ACR2 is the auxiliary uh, complementary X uh, ACR and capacitor C discharges to this ACR2 and uh, uh, this path in this path and it will oppose this discharge current will oppose the conduction current and when it will uh, be equal so this uh, current to ACR will be zero okay and uh, the discharge current is in the opposite direction in, uh, to that flowing to ACL1 and when the two becomes equal ACL2 turn off and now this uh, capacitor uh, C uh, gets charged uh, through the load when uh, the capacitor C gets fully charged uh, ACL2 will be uh, turned off just the uh, circuits act as a uh, DC circuit breaker uh, because you know when it is uh, fully charged so oh, actually uh, this will be reverse biased and as a result this is to be off okay so actually uh, this the circuit acts as a uh, dc circuit breaker and uh, a register r is taken of such a value that current through r is lower than that of holding current this registers r okay so the current uh, through this will be uh, less than uh, the uh, mm. The holding uh, current and uh, such a uh, such a case uh, whenever this uh, current conduction current is uh, come below uh, the holding current and we know from the uh, very uh, characteristics of the ACR uh, the ACR will be uh, turned off okay
and we have uh, say we learned this uh, we have studied this in our uh, commutation uh, different commutation methods so how it uh, this uh, conduction current can be taken back or uh, taken below the soldering current to make the scr off okay so that's the uh, principle uh, and uh, this this principle is being applied in the, uh, um, static circuit breakers whether it is ac or uh, dc um as a natural commutation process or uh, supposed commutation process is being applied uh, to uh, make uh, uh, the break the circuit and uh, since uh, this type of uh, 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 say ACS are being used for making and breaking uh, the circuits so it's known as the uh, static circuit because you know, where no moving part is there okay. uh, now we'll uh, start a new topic uh, particularly uh, one another uh, uh, major application of uh, power electronics and uh, you know uh, this is uh, UPS uninterruptible uh, power supply so and what is an UPS basically an uninterrupted power supply or UPS is uh, defined as a piece of electrical equipment uh, which can be used as an immediate power source uh, to the connected load when there is any failure in the main input power supply input, input power source basically so once again i'm repeating uh, an uninterrupted power interruptible power supply or ups is defined as a piece of electrical equipment which can be used as an immediate power source to the connected load when there is any failure in the main input power source so basically we are all familiar with the ups messengers or those who uh, nowadays everybody is using uh, say a desktop uh, a computer and uh, it is it is uh, say supplied uh, through ups basically why this is because when you are uh, uh, doing it your uh, desktop or laptop whatever it is so if it is a desktop so particularly we when, when we are uh, doing something so uh, at, in the meantime uh, all of a sudden power is uh, gone so in that case whatever the uh, work i have done with the desktop so that uh, to be saved and uh, if, if, if it is not already saved so uh, if it required to be saved and uh, uh, for that purpose uh, sometimes is required power backup is required and that power backup is uh, given uh, to this ups so in UPS, uh, the energy is generally stored in uh, flywheels, uh, batteries, or uh, supercapacitors. When compared to the other immediate uh, power supply systems, so UPS has the advantage of immediate protection against the uh, input power interruptions. So it is very uh, short on battery runtime, and however, this time is enough to safely shut down the connected apparatus, uh, computers, telecommunication equipment, system, or to switch. Uh, on uh, a standby power source so as i told you so not only uh, to save uh, the uh, say uh, work done and uh, to uh, make uh, the uh, say uh, or uh, off uh, the uh, switch uh, make the off of the uh, system so you require certain time okay uh, so that uh, uh, it cannot uh, uh, gun uh, um, uh, all of a sudden so so the in if is the energy is generally stored in flywheels uh, batteries or uh, super capacitors when compared to other immediate power supply systems and UPS has the advantage of immediate protection against uh, input power interruptions and it has very short on battery um, run time however this uh, time is enough to safely shut down the connected apparatus that is computer still commission equipment etc or to switch on a standby power source <coughs> so if this can be used as a protective device uh, for some hardware which can cause serious damage or loss with a certain power disruption so uninterrupted power supply uh, power source uh, you place uh, battery backup and flywheel backup are the other names often used uh, for the uh, UPS. So the available uh, size of UPS uh, units uh, ranges from 200 volt ampere uh, which is used uh, for a solo co computer to several uh, large units up to 46 MB. So I, as I was discussing that UPS can be used as a protective device for uh, some hardware which can cause uh, serious damage or loss which is certain uh, power disruptions and uninterruptible 
uh, power source, uh, battery backup, and flywheel backup are the uh, other names uh, often used uh, for the UPS. And uh, the available size of UPS uh, units uh, ranges from 200 volt ampere, uh, which is used uh, for a solar computer, to several large units uh, up to 46 MBA. Okay. Now, what are the um, roles uh, actually uh, of UPS? The major roles of the UPS. So, when there is any uh, failure in the main power source, the UPS will supply the power for a short time. And uh, this is the prime role uh, of UPS. In addition to that, it is also uh, able to uh, correct uh, some general power, some problems related to utility services to various uh, varying degrees. And uh, the problem that can be uh, um, corrected are voltage uh, spike that is sustainable voltage, noise, quick uh, reduction in input voltage, uh, harmonic distortion and the uh, instability of frequency in bands. Once again I am repeating uh, this uh, major roles of the UPS that, that is uh, when uh, there is any any failure in the main power source uh, the UPS will supply uh, the power for a uh, short time. So this is the prime role basically this is the prime role of the UPS and uh, in addition to that uh, it is also able to correct uh, some general power problems uh, related to utility services to varying degrees mainly uh, the problems that can be corrected are uh, voltage spike that is sustained over voltage noise and uh, quick reduction in input voltage harmonic distortion and the instability of frequency in mains so these are the major roles of ups and what are the uh, types of UPS? Uh, generally, uh, UPS system is categorized into online UPS, offline UPS, and and of course online interactive UPS. So other designs include standby online hybrid, standby ferro, delta conversion online, etc. So once again, I'm uh, repeating this uh, types of UPS. Generally, the UPS system is categorized into online UPS offline UPS and uh, line interactive UPS and other designs include uh, standby uh, online um, hybrid standby ferro uh, delta conversion online etc so, and uh, let's start with offline UPS basically uh, offline UPS uh, this UPS is also called standby UPS system which can give only the most uh, basic features here the uh, primary source is the filtered AC mains uh, that is uh, uh, shown in uh, this figure solid line ok so uh, solid part when the power breakage occurs particularly um, uh, the transfer uh, switch will select uh, the backup source so that is shown here so this is the main line such a pressure mains in filter then transfer switch to the door this is the main so when actually uh, a power breakage occur uh, this uh, dc voltage uh, but you did this we can uh, you, you clearly see that the solid uh, that uh, you know when the power breakage occurs uh, the transfer switch will select the backup source uh, you see here this backup source this is the backup source okay so when power because of us this uh, will select this backup source and as a result so load will be say getting supply okay so uh, let us uh, come to the point so uh, actually mm, so we can see clearly that uh, uh, the standby system will start working only when there is any failure in the mains okay so if this is off so stand which is come here so this is the okay process battery actually battery is being charged by C to DC so this is charging path then battery will convert DC to AC and separate the load okay so so when uh, power breakage occurs so this DC voltage is converted to AC voltage uh, by means of a power inverter and is transferred uh, to the load connected to it so this is uh, the least expensive UPS system 
and it uh, provides uh, surge protection in addition to backup and the transfer time can be about uh, 25 milliseconds which can be uh, related to the time taken by the UK system to detect the utility voltage uh, that is uh, lost uh, this is the block record so this is actually main supply so this is such suppressors any spike or surge will be suppressed by this block then uh, filter this is the harmonic filter so it will be filtered this is the uh, the going to the load now suppose uh, the um, power supply is getting say interrupted so then this transfer switch will come here okay so during uh, supply and without uh, uh, without any 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 interruption so this dash line will show the battery charge battery will be charged so this is ac this is ac to dc converter that is rectified so that will uh, supply this battery for charge and when power because of will be happened this battery will uh, supply to this inverter unit so that is uh, dc voltage will be uh, say uh, converted into the ac and this ac will be supplied to the load so and how did it will take a uh, few milliseconds so uh, 25 milliseconds or something like that so that's uh, is the um, offline UPS so um, in the uh, and then uh, you will come to discuss about the online UPS uh, then uh, line interactive UPS and its applications now um, once again uh, uh, that, that this person will be discussing the, the next class so um, once again i'm uh, repeating uh, this uh, uh, say ups uh, portion so what is ups it is basically you know uh, uninterrupted power supply it is defined as a uh, piece of electrical equipment which can be uh, used as a immediate uh, power source to the connected load when there is any failure in the main uh, input power source and in UPS the energy is generally uh, stored in flywheel uh, batteries or super capacitor that is shown here uh, when compared to other uh, immediate uh, power supply systems UPS has the advantage of immediate protection against uh, input power interruptions and it has a very short on battery runtime however this time is enough to simply shut down the connected apparatus uh, that is computers, telecom and equipment or uh, to uh, say or to um, uh, uh, telecom equipment or to, uh, to switch on a standby power source so UPS can be used as a protective device uh, for some hardware uh, which can be uh, can cause uh, say actually uh, so UPS uh, can be used as a um, uh, protective uh, device for uh, some hardware which can uh, cause uh, serious damage or loss with a um, sudden power disruption. So uninterruptible uh, power source, uh, battery backup and flywheel backup are the other names of often used uh, for UPS. And uh, the available size of the UPS units uh, are in this form uh, 200 uh, volt ampere which is used for a solo computer to several large units up to 46 MBA. So and major roles of uh, UPS are uh, when there is any uh, failure in the main power uh, source, uh, the UPS will uh, supply uh, the power for a short time. And this is the prime uh, role of UPS and in addition to that, uh, it is also able to correct uh, some general power problems related to utility services to varying degrees. And the problems uh, that can be corrected are uh, uh, voltage spike, uh, that is sustained over voltage, uh, noise, uh, quick reduction in input uh, voltage, harmonic distortion and the instability. Of uh, frequency means and uh, the uh, types uh, of UPS uh, generally UPS uh, systems is categorized into online UPS, offline UPS, and uh, line interactive UPS and other designs include uh, standby online hybrid, uh, standby pillow, uh, uh, delta conversion online, etc. And uh, um, also, we have uh, discussed today that is uh, offline UPS. Uh, this UPS is also called as a standby UPS uh, system which can give only the most uh, basic features uh, and the primary source is the filtered AC mains uh, that is shown in the figure in the solid path and in part because uh, breakage occurs uh, the transfer switch uh, can um, uh, 
will select uh, the backup source uh, that is only the dash part uh, line in the figure one and thus we can uh, clearly see that the standby um, system uh, will start working only when there is any failure in mains and in this system the IC uh, voltage uh, is uh, first uh, rectified and uh, stored in uh, the storage battery connected to the rectifier and when power breakage occurs uh, the DC voltage is converted into AC voltage by uh, means of a power inverter and is transferred to the load connected to it and this is the uh, least expensive UPS systems uh, and it provides uh, surge protection in addition to, uh, to backup and the transfer time can be about 25 milliseconds uh, which can be uh, related to the time taken by the UPS systems uh, to direct the utility voltage and that is uh, lost and this is the uh, plug diagram as I told you oh, this is for main and this is for backup that is for the UPS systems so uh, it provides such um, uh, suppressor filter and then to a load and uh, this is uh, the energy stored in the battery this uh, from AC is being converted to DC by the rectifier then stored in the way and in during break, break uh, power interruption this battery DC voltage will be converted uh, by this inverter to AC and it is subject to the load so that's all about uh, this uh, today's uh, discussions and so to today we have discussed about uh, the uh, UPS and uh, the static uh, circuit breakers uh, that is um, AC circuit breakers and uh, DC circuit breakers as well as uh, the interactive part of the UPS and the offline UPS systems and then the next class we will uh, discuss about say other UPS that is online UPS uh, uh, then um, mm. line interactive UPS and UPS applications so that's all uh, today thank you all for your present hearing Hope you have enjoyed the sessions and if you have any problem you will uh, contact me as I told you and uh, say uh, earlier also. So thank you.